Happy Thursday. What's up guys? It's been a minute. We've been enjoying summer around here a lot. Family's in town, so we've just been having a blast every night. Hope y'all are having a good summer. It is 4th of July weekend, so in honor of that, we are making a fun mocktail um, that people can serve at their 4th of July parties. I had to drive all across town this morning just to find some strawberries, and I should have known. I should have went earlier in the week. All the strawberries, organic strawberries, are sold out. So I had to resort to frozen, which is fine. I'll blitz them in the salmon quick and they'll be uh, ready for pressing. So the liquid base of this recipe is going to be green apple. Um, I would love to do citrus. Citrus would be an awesome like margarita mocktail base, um, but it's so expensive. So uh, we are going to do green apple, and green apple is going to provide a really nice sour tart flavor, which is going to be awesome. I'm going to be portioning the strawberries as like a superfood. Um, I'm referencing my Juicing 101 basics video. If you're making something you've never made before, a recipe you've never made before, there are certain categories of uh, fruits and veggies and herbs that you can learn when you watch that video. You can learn how to portion out certain things um, to make a good tasting juice recipe. So there's superfoods, um, which is normally like a six to uh, four to six ounce per portion per five pound recipe. Definitely recommend watching the video if you want to learn how to make that. And then for the uh, limes, um, they are going to be a flavor component, so I'm going to go really heavy on them. I need to watch a uh, old watermelon mojito video to see if I peel these or not. I leave the rind on the lemon, uh, but take it off grapefruit and oranges. I'm not sure about limes. I'll go back and check that video. We are offering this in growler form as well as the 12 ounce form. You only need about four ounces of juice, <coughs> excuse me, to make a uh, like a fun mocktail, pour it over ice. Um, you can add your favorite liquor, tequila, um, whatever you feel like making. There's tons of different options uh, that you can do like mocktails and bubbly water and all kinds of things. So I'm gonna grab the green apples here and we will get to pressing. It's been so hot here lately, it's like 94. Uh, we've got all the ACs, all the fans running. <laughs> Yum, that's gonna be so good, so tart and sweet. Yum. All right, gonna get Judy set up. I just realized I need to stock the fridge. We had a busy day yesterday. Most of our sales lately have been cleanses. But yesterday we had a good day. I need to get some juice in the fridge. All right, I've got 12 pounds of Granny Smith apples. I've got eight limes, four lemons, and 20 ounces of strawberries. Should be really good. We talked about adding some beet for color if we need a little bit more of a pop. But we will give it a shot. If you want to make this on an at-home scale, I would do six pounds of Granny Smith apples, three to four limes, one lemon, and the Ten ounces of strawberries. Let's get it present. I'm excited. It's always fun when you juice something new. You juice the same recipes every day. It's just kind of like, yep, next recipe, next recipe. Something new. I've never juiced strawberries before or any berries for that matter. So we'll see. Wow, these smell so good. Y'all could smell this. All right, we're thinking we need to add the beet, get a little bit darker. This is a 12 pound recipe, 12 pounds of liquid base. If I was looking for beet flavor, uh, I would portion one beet per six pounds, but I only want the color, so I'm gonna do half that, a quarter of that. I don't know, let's see. Here we go, here we go. 
Are we pre-ordering growlers? I've got about 12 singles. I can make, I have enough to make a growler if somebody orders. I, I think it'll, if we put a fridge in, a growler in the fridge, it'll sell. Yeah. Let's make for sure a growler that I can take photos of it and say it's available. Woo Such a pretty color. Yum, 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 yum. Really happy with that. It's so good. Got a bunch up here. Oh, I see a spot. Wrapping it up here at the shop. It's a good busy day. A lot of people are leaving town. A lot of people are leaving town for the weekend, so they stocked up. We sold almost all those strawberry. Have you tried that, Mom? Strawberry lemonade? Yeah. They're really good. Sold the growler. The growler didn't make it to the fridge. Sold two big batches of it. You want your cape on? Wrapping it up for the day. We'll make a bunch more tomorrow. What's Aaron doing? He's potting up some stuff. Potting up some stuff. Yeah. We'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hey, <laughs>